Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. I've got opinions from seven traders slash chart analysts in this video regarding XRP price. One of them says that he is, quote, immediately bullish on XRP. So I'm going to be sharing that opinion with you. Uh, so most of this video is going to have to do with, with price action here, vast majority. I'm going to wrap up the video with something, uh, it's going to relate to price too. Check out this headline, AMB Crypto, Bitcoin's halving might trigger super cycle, quote unquote, super cycle, and boost user base to half a billion. Now, as we all know, every single cryptocurrency that is not Bitcoin does follow the price action of Bitcoin currently. So this would matter. This would matter for XRP quite a bit. So I find it fascinating, conceptual. I've talked about this a little bit in the past, but this is a brand new piece on the topic. So I want to share with you a fresh opinion. Now, before we get rocking and rolling here, if you would please delicately tap that like button. And if you're a fan of Ripple and XRP, it would be prudent to subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel where we talking about XRP are a day. It's my most favoritist hobby. So take a look, here's the title. This first piece, Crypto Trader says he's immediately bullish on Ripple's XRP, adding that Stellar XLM will follow. Now, of course, this is a pet peeve of mine. Okay, so my, my biggest pet peeve in life is my four-year-old Terrier mix. I, I do indeed have a dog, and I named her Peeve. She's cute. My second biggest pet peeve currently is people inter like interchangeably using Ripple and XRP. Ripple is a company. XRP is a decentralized cryptocurrency native to the XRP ledger. There we go. Ripple's XRP. Unless you are referencing that XRP, which Ripple's own, which Ripple owns, don't say Ripple's XRP. Just say XRP. It's fine. But that's all right. It's just a pet peeve of mine. Cryptocurrency traders seem to be on the same page when it comes to, to uh, XRP recording huge price gains in the near future. Cryptocurrency trader Nebraskan Gooner has published the list of cryptocurrencies that, in his opinion, are heading for bigger price gains. By the way, I'd not heard of this guy before, so a new person for me to track. I did go ahead and follow him uh, right before recording this video, and he does have a notable following. He has 32,900 followers on Twitter. Uh, seems to be all about cryptocurrency. So let's go ahead and see. He says, immediately bullish on XRP. And then he writes, uh, the rest of the tweet doesn't have to do with XRP. I can read it real quick. It says, bullish on BAT, but I think that will need a bit more time. XLM is likely to follow XRP. I'd prefer more dip on LINK to add more, but it's tough to say if we'll get there. Uh, BNB looking like it will be green for the coming days. And he says he's buying more Litecoin at $56. Right. Uh, unsurprisingly, he claims that he's immediately bullish on Ripple's XRP. Oh, that's my pet peeve. That really steams my vegetables. Uh, which seems to be the hottest topic on crypto Twitter as of recently. And indeed, I did report on a story yesterday about how, at least, and it was just for a short time period, but still, this pretty much never happens. Because, right, what, what cryptocurrency has all the brand recognition, all the cachet? It would be Bitcoin, right? Well, I argue that uh, the best cryptocurrency community out there is indeed the XRP community. And uh, just the other day, I, I, this is literally one of the videos I made yesterday, I, I did comment on a story that highlighted the fact that during a short period, it may have just been a one hour period, but there were more, there was more discussion around XRP, more mentions of XRP than there was Bitcoin. And look, I'm telling you, this is just the beginning. I know you feel like you found something special if you're an XRP investor. I'd be willing to bet you're just like me. You feel like you found something really special because utility matters. You probably get that. I'm just guessing here because this is an XRP centric channel. And I just, you, if you're like me, you, you feel like you found something before the rest of the world, but people are going to catch on. And you're going to see, in terms of the, the frenzy around cryptocurrency, I think at some point, I don't know when, I think it's slowly, I would say it's really slowly happening on a daily basis, just as time passes, you're going to see that frenzy shift to those cryptocurrencies in terms of price action that actually have uh, have utility, have use. And that's why I'm so gung-ho about XRP. You know, it's not like I'm ideologically driven for any of this. You know, I'm not a down with banks, down with government guy like many, uh, like many especially early Bitcoiners are or were, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm here because this just makes sense. To me, it seems quite rational. Now, 
I would like to state here before going any further, since I said something very positive there. I don't have a financial background whatsoever. I am. Uh, this is not financial advice. I am just sharing my my uh, honest opinion as a rather enthusiastic XRP community member. It should be taken as that. You should not buy, sell, or hold anything because of me. So please don't do that. I want to be extra clear on this video. I stated in every video, but I want to be extra clear right now since we are talking about uh, uh, price action a bit, and we're you know I'm sharing with you opinions from others. Uh, in terms of the direction I think XRP price is going to go, but I, I don't make price predictions. I don't know for sure which way things are going to go. Just want to be super transparent on that. All right, and then the piece continues. Another trader recently predicted that the third biggest cryptocurrency was on the verge of its biggest moment throughout the year, just weeks ahead of Ripple's swell event that is slated for November 7th and 8th. In the meantime, crypto dog and I... <laughs> This guy, I, I'm, I didn't go, I didn't bother going back and verifying before I recorded the video, but I'm about a hundred percent sure the crypto dog is anti XRP and he's being sarcastic here. So here you go. A uh, crypto dog tweets that XRP hitting five hundred eighty nine dollars would be the best Christmas gift for him and most probably for Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson. They write in parentheses there. So again, I think that's just a joke. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. My apologies if so. Uh, Nebraskan Gooner also states that uh, Stellar XLM is very likely to follow XRP's price action. The cryptocurrency, which was created by former Ripple CTO Jed McCaleb, tends to follow in tandem with its number one competitor. And of course, uh, David Schwartz and Arthur Brito also created the XRP ledger and XRP itself. So let's go ahead and throw them in the mix there, if that's okay. So there's there's, there's one opinion down. And, um, and where we're sitting right now, by the way, quick uh, update here. So market cap for the crypto asset class, $225 billion. You got Bitcoin at 8395 and XRP at 29.31 cents time of recording this. And I would like to give a quick shout out here to the founder of Live Coin Watch, Noel here, who on the screen here. Um, I, I guess either he or somebody from his team noticed that all the time, basically, I'm constantly utilizing um, live livecoinwatch.com on, on my videos. I just I personally happen to prefer it over uh, Coin Market Cap, and I've talked about why in the past. Um, and, and so anyway, they noticed that I've been using it. And about two weeks ago, Noel reached out to me. And uh, gave me access to the new uh, beta version of Live Coin Watch, which actually went live like I don't know earlier this morning or late yesterday, depending on you know what time zone you're in. And the website, if you look at it, like it's completely revamped and it does look quite snazzy here. So I uh, just thought I'd give a quick shout out because I'm appreciative, and I sent a tweet out also. But uh, but yeah, very very cool stuff here. It's a cleaner look. It it just looks even. I mean, the the site was professional before, but it just it's like. It, Visually, it looks like it's on a whole nother level right now, and it's quite functional as well. So anyway, this this website just went live, and if you haven't checked it out, I encourage you to go there. And again, just personal preference. I'm, this is not some sort of paid endorsement of any kind. I've just I've been using Live Coin Watch forever, and uh, just Coin Market Cap. No, thank you. Um, nothing against them personally, but uh, just no. <laughs> but um, and you can take a look here. So price wise, though, let me hop back into that now. The thrust of the video. Within the last 24 hours, XRP got up to uh, 31.4 cents. And again, hovering just a little over 29 cents right now. And so here's the chart. If you're not driving, feel free to take a look at the screen right here. And I, again, like I mentioned in my video yesterday, I had a video where I was talking about price yesterday also. And it's just what keeps coming, like what I keep seeing from every single analyst, every single trader out there, just about rare exception. And there are exceptions, but the, the it's, it's either every, I don't know if it's one person following the other's opinion. It seems like they also are smart, but uh, they really the, the you no know, the genuine sentiment it seems to me is that um, XRP is on the verge of something in terms of price action, and so I'm just sharing with you the sentiment of others since I don't even know how to read charts. You know, it's not something I'm I'm interested in learning. I'm all about learning fundamentals because I'm a long term holder. So for me, that makes the most sense. Take a look at this. Here's another chart analyst of the XRP community. He is at Mr Level Up, and he tweets this. I've seen enough. XRP burst warning is in effect from October 13th through October 24th. And then he writes, I'll be sharing a video with chart signals that support that. So after this tweet, and he did he did provide a link to that. So feel free to check it out if you want to. Uh, I, I just wanted to share the sentiment. If you want the specifics, go ahead and check out his video, though. But uh, obviously very bullish and apparently, from his perspective, positive things about to happen. All right, check out this next piece. Here's another one. XRP News Today, top headline for XRP. 
The crypto community is solidly behind XRP as they await the next major price trend. Famous cryptocurrency trader Galaxy has continued to push his statement that XRP will surge ahead of Ripple's annual event, which is known as Swell. He tweeted, The trade of the year is coming once again on XRP. Long two weeks before Swell and short when the event is over. Price increase before event USD 115% in 2017 and then 220% in 2018. Uh, price decrease after the event, USD negative 43%, 2017 negative uh, 51%, 2018. Uh, time to to, uh, to see what uh, this year brings. Careful about that, though. I, I will say this. So I, I don't know if this is going to be some sort of pattern. Swell hasn't even existed that long. So we'll see. I don't know. Won't pretend to know. But let me say this. Leading up to Swell, which was the beginning of October last year, just keep this in mind, X-Rapid, so it ended up being launched, uh, I think it may have actually been October 1st, it was it was the very beginning, I think it was the first day of, of Swell, if I'm not mistaken anyway, but there was a rumor that leaked out several weeks prior that X-Rapid was about to go live and the price started pumping throughout September, and then when that happened, I think it was already baked into the price, and then eventually, yeah, the price did go back down. Uh, I'm not aware of any rumor associating or anywhere any rumor even approaching that level of significance so i don't know that anything's already baked into the price i don't know that the price would pump afterwards to be honest and this is not like a chart analyst type of thing i'm just saying i'm skeptical of the concept of that but we will see i'm, I, I'm flatly stating i do not know but so just take that for that for what it's worth i am skeptical of that anyway peace continues of recent xrp has been consolidating trading near a close a trading range in the uh, the uh, upper 20% region. It is noteworthy that some crypto analysts still believe that XRP's bears are in charge in spite of the uh, the several bullish efforts to break out of its, uh, its trading range over the past week. Also, the historical catalyst for major gains is fast approaching, which could signify that XRP is soon experience a massive surge before declining back to its recent lows. And so again, like I did state that area, and it is uh, the point earlier, it is fair to say there are some that are negative. I'm just telling you, every, everything that I see in my Twitter feed and everything that I'm seeing in crypto media, uh, you know, when comparing everything, it just seems that the sentiment that rings true is that XRP uh, looks to have a positive future in the short to mid range. That's just what I keep seeing. Again, take that for what it's worth. Check out this piece. Bitcoin price. Sudden Sunday drop has analysts eyeing $7,800 support. And so uh, it's it's Monday today, and this says Sundays, but this piece is from this morning. It's just, uh, it was just 10 hours ago anyway. Uh, I don't really want to read this whole thing. Let me just scroll down a little bit because they start talking about alts. There's a subheading. Altcoins see a glimpse of promise. Okay. For altcoin investors, the picture was one of rare contrast to Bitcoin with many assets making modest gains overnight. Ether, the largest altcoin by market cap, began the week up 0.8% to just over $183. Others put in a stronger performance, with XRP up 4.3% to $0.29, cents, and Binance Coin gaining 3% to pass at $18 per token. And so, and it, it did rise up even further past that. Like I just showed you on Live Coin Watch, it got up to over 30 once since XR, XRP did. Uh, so we'll, we'll see where it goes, though. But anyway, just bullish sentiment the world over here, right? <laughs> uh, check, out, check out this tweet. There's a tweet from somebody named Bruce Swan here who wrote... I sold my Bitcoin and bought XRP, do the research, and then tell me Bitcoin is the future. Which makes sense to me. I mean, the sentiment certainly makes a lot of sense to someone like me, who had done a ton of research. Uh, Frecky responded and tagged me. Here's the tweet from Frecky. Welcome to the community. I own both, however, I believe XRP will be number one. Due to real, real world utility and use case, great job. Welcome again. Indeed. Uh, and so thank you for sharing with that. I, and welcome to the community, uh, Bruce Swan here. You are welcome with open arms here. Moving on, we're going to give you a big old hug. Um, but yeah, look, if, if you're the, of the mindset that utility actually matters and will win the day, it makes sense to throw money in the XRP. Not financial advice, just my humble, everyday Joe Schmo type opinion here. Take a look at this. This is just a, a quick tweet, not exactly on the topic, but interesting nonetheless. So here's Grayscale. Uh, Grayscale, digital large cap funds holdings as of September 30th, 2019. So you got Bitcoin at 80.3%, ETH 9.9%, and XRP 
at 5.8%. And, you know, maybe it makes more sense if you're somebody like me for XRP to have a higher cut of that. But who knows? It's, it, it, look, with an investment like this, I don't even know how much of this is weighted based on fundamentals. For me, my entire investment thesis has everything to do with the fundamentals, everything to do with utility. So if you're somebody trying to make more money in the short term, I can't. I couldn't even begin to help you there. You know, that's not what I do. I'm not a trader. I'm a long-term guy, period, when it comes to money. But nonetheless, hey, extra piece still at the top. They're a great sale. Towards the top, right? Number three. All right, last piece. Bitcoin's halving might trigger super cycle and boost user base to half a billion with a B. On October 31st, 2019, it will be 11 years since Satoshi Nakamoto introduced the world to Bitcoin. After years of being associated with the dark web, many nations today are looking to, at Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as a solution to their economic crises. With Bitcoin, uh, was evolving to become a useful speculative store of value. Dan Held, Director of Business Development at Kraken, expressed his opinion on the financial position of Bitcoin in the current marketplace. Uh, on a current, or, I'm sorry, on a recent podcast, Held admitted that Bitcoin is a form of payment was not feasible at the moment due to its price volatility. Keeping a form of currency as a unit of account which was more volatile than fiat was a hassle, he said. Uh, Held suggested that post-hyper Bitcoinization, when the virtual asset would have more than half a billion or billion users, Bitcoin would prevail as a reasonable form of payment, but the scenario would unfold at a much later date and not anytime soon. However, Held suggested that a possible Bitcoin supercycle may speed up the process. Terming it purely speculative, Held said that the past two major bull runs have been recorded by the market post-halving. The next halving is less than a year away, and the Kraken executive claimed that the macro backdrops were completely different from the previous halving. And so uh, I do want to say, and I, I've made this point on the channel before, but I, I agree with this part of what he said, all right? If it, and not specific to Bitcoin, though, if a cryptocurrency is going to be used in, in place of a fiat currency, if, if, if its use case, if a cryptocurrency's use case, uh, you know, as Satoshi Nakamoto originally envisioned Bitcoin to be used as a peer to peer cash system, if that if that ever comes to pass, I think it's going to be far from now. So it's just interesting to me that the first conceived use case ever for cryptocurrency might be one of the last that's ever actually adopted, in part due to, to, to price volatility. Of course, there's all sorts of technological issues with Bitcoin in terms of scaling issues. But anyway, that's a whole other thing. So here's a quote from Held. If Bitcoin is expected by institutional traders as a risk-off trade or a safe haven asset, as a narrative of two, uh, in uh, 2020 and 2021, Bitcoin may undergo a super cycle. Major user metrics around the protocol are based on market boom or bust cycles, but in a super cycle, Bitcoin may move from 20 to 40 million users to a billion or half a billion users. And then the piece continues. However, Held clarified that user experience based on the Lightning Network was not uh, competent enough to onboard a billion users at the moment. And so there you go. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.